Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, I am a lecturer in the Ahlebek High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of lectures of the Intermediate First Year Mathematics B. We have discussed locus and the transmission of axis in our previous sessions. Today we are going to discuss a new topic and it is a very important and it is very simple to understand that is the straight lines which is the third chapter of our textbook that is maths 1b. Today we are going to discuss the overview of the straight lines that is what are a straight line, what are different kinds of straight lines we see, how to solve them, how to simplify and what are the different kinds we are going to see in this chapter. Let us begin. Before going into the brief introduction of a straight line, we have already discussed about the coordinate system and the, the points how to represent in our previous session of the transmission of axis. Here let us discuss about few concepts such as the slope and the how to find the new equation. Let us discuss a few simple things. Let us recall them. This is the horizontal axis and this is the vertical axis. The horizontal axis it is called as x axis and the vertical axis is called as y axis right. These both intersect at a particular point called as x comma y which is nothing but origin 0 comma 0 right. From this point as long as we are going towards the right hand side it will be positive x axis as we are going to the left hand side negative x axis. If we move to the topwards it is positive y axis, if we moving towards the downwards it is negative y axis. Based on that this in this quadrant that is the first quadrant will have both x and y as positive, positive coordinates. Similarly we will have based on the their coordinate axis on the remaining quadrant. Okay? Now let us discuss few things that is the first important parameter we are going to discuss today is slope. What is a slope actually. What is a slope? Where did we heard of the slope? Generally we use the term slope right? Then what is the slope in this coordinate axis? What is the importance of slope in the mathematics? Slope uh, the general equation or the general terminals which we use slope is a bending right? If this is the axial path if there is slight bending then we always tell there is a slope. If the water flowing from the higher point to the lower point, we always find out that there is a slope or the steep or we can also call it as gradient. Okay? A slope can be defined as the gradient of a particular straight line. Is that right? This slope can be defined in different different forms. Hmm? For right? Similarly, slope is nothing but just an angle or the steep from the or the difference of the steep from the actual horizontal path. Then we can directly conclude that the horizontal line x axis will have a slope 0. Right? x axis will have a slope 0. Let us write there. Slope of x axis is 0. Similarly, slope of y axis is which is completely at high, this is completely incomparable which is infinity right. This is how we can define the slope of x axis and y axis. Now let us generalize the slope formula for different equations. Let us see. Slope is always denoted by m. Okay. Now let us see when a given equation how to find the slope. We can find slopes in different form. The first form is when equation is given that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. If this is the equation given how to find the slope that is slope m is equal to negative of coefficient of x variable by coefficient of y or simply can be written as minus a by b clear minus x ka coefficient that is x coefficient is a and y coefficient is b that is slope can be defined as minus a by b for when a equation is given in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 ok. Similarly when two points are given right 
even there are two points we can form an equation or we can form a straight line if two points are given then slope is always given by difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates okay that is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and the third one is the most simplest thing when the angle is given what is this angle when if a straight line if this is a straight line which is making an angle theta with the positive x axis in the anti clockwise direction okay once again let me repeat if an angle theta is given which is making uh, which is making an angle theta with the positive x axis in the anti clockwise direction then the slope can be written as tangent of that particular angle is it clear these are the three different formulas to find the slope this is when the given e for the given equation we can find the slope as minus a by b if two points are given we can find the slope as the ratio of difference of their coordinates that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and if the angle theta is made with a positive x axis in the anti clockwise direction then slope can be written as tangent of theta simply tan theta okay similarly what happens uh, if the two lines are parallel right if two lines are parallel obviously this will make the same angle with the x axis this will also make the same angle with the x axis what happens let us assume this here also it is making an angle theta here is also making angle theta then tan theta tan theta will be same then we can conclude that the slopes are equal for two parallel lines okay if the lines l1 is parallel to l2 let us assume this is l1 and this is l2 the slope of l1 is m1 the slope of l2 is m2 then their slopes are equal right similarly what happens if these two lines are perpendicular okay what happens if these two lines are perpendicular then if two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes is equal to minus 1 remember this particular thing why it is minus 1 we can discuss in the future classes based on the tan theta and everything okay just remember for right now okay what did we discuss if two lines are parallel their slopes are equal if two lines are perpendicular then the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1 is it okay from this we can find the slopes of different equations when different conditions or the different uh, given conditions okay similarly we can also discuss few things such as collinearity when a given three points are said to be collinear we have discussed different different methods in the previous classes here we can make that if this line ka slope is equal to this line ka slope or else we can write it as a b c okay if the slope of a b is equal to slope of a c okay then we can conclude that both three points are collinear okay see here ac is a line right ab is also line hmm for example if ab is going in this way and ac is moving in this way even if we find even if we after finding this slope of ab and slope of ac will this be equal obviously no in this condition they will be equal it clearly tells that if slope of ab equal to slope of ac then the points a b and c are collinear collinear is they lie on the same line okay now let us discuss with a few problems based on this formula okay let's start now let us discuss few examples on our slope see here it is very clear written that find the slope of a line joining these two points okay this is the first point this is the second point what is the slope formula when two points are given that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 here these points are x1 y1 this is x2 y2 let us write it x1 y1 x2 
y2. Let us substitute in that y2 minus y1 that is 5 minus 8 by x2 minus x1 10 minus of minus 3 is plus 3. 5 minus 8 is minus 3 by 13. This is a slope when the two points are given. Is it okay? Now let us find. Let us take one more example where he directly gave the slope. He is asking us to find one variable which is not given that is x. What is slope given? 2. What is the formula of slope? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus 2 by x 3 minus 5 by x minus 2 that is equal to 2. Is it right? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus 5 by x minus 2. Let us simplify this. What is 3 minus 5? Minus 2 by x minus 2 equal to 2. Minus 2 is equal to 2x minus 4. If we simplify, we will get 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to 1. Right? This minus 4 will come this side, it becomes plus 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. If 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to 1, that is the value of x when slope is given as 2 in that equation, I mean in that question. Let us take next solution. What is the question given here? We have to find the value of y if the line joining these two points, okay, this is the first line, is parallel to the line joining to the next two points. Let us assume if this is the first line A and B, the slope is M1 and this is the second line CD, its slope is M2. What happens if two lines are parallel about the slopes? Their slopes are equal. Let us see. What is m1? That is the slope of first two points. What is that? 7 minus y by 2 minus 3. 7 minus y by 2 minus 3. That is equal to 7 minus y by minus 1. Right? That is slope m1. Similarly, what is slope m2? The difference between these two. 6 minus 4 by 0 plus 1 that is 2 by 1 that is equal to 2. Yes, <coughs> given that both are parallel obviously their slopes are equal. Even both are parallel therefore slopes are equal. Let us equate these both. 7 minus y by minus 1 equal to 2. Send this minus 1 that side you will get 7 minus y is equal to minus 2. Send this y that side, bring that to this side. 7 plus 2 is 9, y is equal to 9. This is how we find the variables when the given slopes are either parallel or slope, slope value is given. Similarly, they may ask you the question like if these both are perpendicular, just similarly we have, we have found this m1 and m2. Just the condition is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. We have to substitute in that. Therefore, by simplifying, we can get the value of y. Okay. Let us go to next. Already we have discussed that if three points are collinear, then what is the condition? Then the slopes of AC is equal to slope of AB or BC. Make sure that don't write AB and BC. They may not seem. Better to write one should be AC and one should be either AB or BC. Then only we can equate it. Let us find AB and BC. Let us find AC and BC. Okay. Let us see. Slope of AC. This is A, B and C. What is slope of AC? Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. That is minus 5 minus 5 minus 11 by minus 3 minus 1 that is minus 16 by minus 4 which is 4. Let us assume it to be M1. Okay. Is it clear? Then next we have to find the slope of either AB or BC. Let us find for BC. Slope of BC that is B to C minus 5 minus 15 by 
minus 3 minus 2 minus 20 by minus 5 5 1s are 5 4s are minus minus cancel will get slope of BC as 4 are these both equal right since both the slopes are equal therefore we can write that given points are collinear is it right this is how we find the slopes of different different forms and we have already discussed for given points given equation similarly let's have one more example of finding a slope for a given equation if they ask us to find the slope of let us assume x plus y equal to 1 right what is the slope formula we have discussed negative x square I mean minus of x coefficient by y coefficient simply what is x coefficient here minus 1 what is y coefficient 1 simply slope is minus 1 is it right is it clear that is what uh, we have discussed about slope this is how we define a slope we solve for the slope we find different different conditions when the slopes are parallel slopes are perpendicular and when the slope value is given or we can find the condition for three points when they are collinear ok this is how we will find the slope let us discuss how to find the equation how to solve the equation based on slope in the next session thank you